Hello, and welcome to the AlphaCam 2019 R1 What's New Videos. In this short video, we're going to cover two new functionalities inside of the AlphaCam 2019 R1 system. Number one, edit 3D workplace. We have gotten many requests from users all over the world telling us that the challenges that come with complex 3D models can be quite daunting. Because of this, we have created the ability for you to modify the properties of a work plane in a visual way and give you, once again, complete control and productivity over the use of your complex 3 plus 2 toolpaths. You will also see, as I mentioned here, that the changes immediately take effect on the toolpaths, saving you the need of having to sit and wait for a toolpath recalculation. We will also talk about sawing solid faces directly from a model. We continue our supremacy in the use of saw, and now we have given you the ability to take a solid model from any provenance and simply click on the solid model face and get your toolpath directly without having to know any properties of that solid. You don't need to know the angle. You don't need to know the start and end points. Everything will be calculated for you. So let's discuss the functionality. You can see here that I have a model, a solid model, which is complex, and it has a combination of surfaces and solids, even potentially STL. Here in my operations list or sequence list, you can see that I have all the individual toolpaths that are responsible for all the features in my 3 plus 2 machining. As I was mentioning before, anyone that has done any kind of complex work knows that even though you can simply right click and edit and recalculate this toolpath, sometimes you're under a time constraint and you would like to generate this code as quickly as possible. A practical example is this. Let's say that for whatever reason, you want to modify all of those toolpaths included in that plane by moving the origin of the plane just a small amount. This is a situation that arises, unfortunately, sometimes when the TCP calculation point on machines is not correct. Or, for example, if the length of the tool hasn't been measured correctly at the machine. This will allow me to right click and edit. And as I was mentioning to you, we can make small changes to account for those little tiny discrepancies. For example, I can move this 0.1 of a millimeter in the Y. And you'll notice that I am not forced to recalculate the toolpath again. Of course, if you want to, you can do so by simply right-clicking and update. Now, in the event that I don't want to do that, I can simply modify the properties of the toolpath. This can be simple, or this can be as fundamental as you want it to be. Example, I can do things now such as bring this guy back 5 millimeters. And you can see now that the origin of the path is five millimeters away from the face of the stock. Of course, we're not gonna constrain you in any way as to what changes you can, you can potentially make here. You can even change the angle of attack to something like 45 degrees. Now, in this case, I would definitely <laughs> suggest a recalculation of the two paths, but I definitely wanted to bring to the surface the power and flexibility that this new feature has. The second enhancement that I want to talk about is the ability to saw solid model faces directly. You'll be able to see, for example, in our existing simulation, what is the intended application. I want to use a saw, and I simply want to cut the face of a solid. Now, in the past, you needed to know several things about this solid. Uh, for example, the thickness, you needed to know the angle, you needed to know, for example, the start and end point sometimes. In other words, there was a little bit of work involved in, in, in being able to do this complex 3 plus 2 machining operation. Now, I don't necessarily have to know anything about it. All I need to do is select my tool, which I'm going to use the tool from the previous operation, and I'm going to go directly into sawing. I'll be able to say, saw automatic Z levels, solid faces. I'm going to tell it to cut. 25 millimeter past the end of the edge 
As always, you will have complete control over the rest of your parameters, safe rapid level, rapid distance. Whether you want to do any foul avoidance by uh, making sure we don't collide with any additional solids or geometry. And then we just simply select the face and right click. So that's it. With a one click solution, you'll now be able to immediately attack the faces of a solid without having to query the properties of that solid. This is a simple enhancement, but it provides uh, significant gains in productivity.